Okay, we're back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm working on tooth number two. The rubber dam is off. And I'm going to go ahead and place a retraction cord. Now, this patient had some issues with um, hemodent and, um, and an epi cord. So we now use a plane on her, plain cord. It has nothing in it, just a braided cord, number seven, Siltrex. Light air on the mirror. Okay, so wipe that, please. I get a wipe. Okay, so we're just going to gently. We have another explorer. I like to use an explorer. I just think that uh, we're able to uh, to get in without any trauma. It's nice to uh, to be able to, to just treat things very gently. I know there's a lot of doctors out there that feel like, hey, we're being a little too, maybe too cute, and uh, really seriously need to take a good good look at what you're doing to the tissue and uh, periodontal fibers. Um, the other question was raised, uh, why do I pack cord before I cement a crown, or even leave it in before I cement the temporary? Well. My answer is, uh, again, I don't want to trap any cement. And also, um, the curricular fluids that come up from the sulcus, the gingival curricular fluids, you know, really don't want them violating um, and contaminating. Suction lingual. So right back in there, we have that other explorer. Get rid of that one. Thank you, sir. All right, here we go. Um, and we're looking good. We're looking good. Nicely done. Haven't done anything to the adjacent tooth. So we've got to bring our margins down. I'll pick up this again using a flat end tapered diamond. It's tapered so that we can at least start to get a nice result here. All right, you okay? Uh-huh, all right. So here we go, buckle now. And we'll take it right down to the gum line. Close a little. Uh, rounding the corner. Just a buckle. And I'm just I'm allowing the the flat portion of the burr to carve out a really nice margin. We know it's not rounded at the end, so we got to turn it into a chamfer. But you can, you can see it's really tapering nicely. I'm going to take away the distal aspect, reposition the camera.
And we'll come around Lingbully. You doing okay? All right. And we'll just bring this margin right down. And this burr actually creates enough room in between the teeth. Now you you want to get a good withdrawal. All right, and we'll pretty this up a little bit. Air on the mirror. A little water on the mirror. A little air. Alright. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way around and just marginate. I'm going to use a regular chamfer burr for that. Chamfer burr. Here it is. Okay. Start on the lingual. I think our tongue is, yeah, we'll keep that out of the way. Let's see a little more reduction needed right there. And of course, this is the distal of number two. There on the mirror. Do the mesial now. Open up a little bit if you can. Okay. Tough spot. And then really. So we're also aesthetically conscious here. So we're trying to pull our margin now. Right now. A little below, once you come out of the embrasure, a little bit below the gum line, so we don't see any yellow dentin. All right, now we got to do the buckle, so we'll put a new triangle in. We'll take the old one out with water.
Okay, so we want to make sure we're protecting her her lips. So I'm going to reposition this a little bit higher. Make sure your lips are all protected. And we can zoom back to where we were. All right, here we go. Close a little. Yeah, positioning sometimes you have to deal with what's the best angle. And I just have them close a little bit more. That's it. And right away I get a little more, less tension on my side. Again, we're, we're taking this one all the way to the gum line. And that's it. And now I'll do the distal. Open again. So we'll finish now the, the distal and that mesial buckle a little bit more there. And we're done. Notice I'm going in a counterclockwise rotation when I'm prepping. And this way, because your, your hand piece is rotating clockwise, so it's a rotational thing. And it, you really get smooth margins by doing that. So one of those trust your, try the tooth, trust your brain, not your eyes kind of a thing. Okay, so we brought that in. And we'll get rid of... Uh, That's pretty good. Yeah, it's all tucked in nice. I think we'll have a good, a nice result here. All right, checking clearance, all important. Clearance closed down all the way together. Stay closed. Now this tab is 1.5 millimeters thickness. So we're going to put that right over the tooth, bite down again, all the way. And that floats in beautifully. Always check visually. Now the distal could be adjusted a little bit to give an even thickness. So I'll do that. I go on the distal and adjust distal plane, need suctioning, air on the mirror. Close again, all the way down. And check that distal again. That looks nicer. 
open again. Water on the tooth. I just rubber cup everything with a Centrix rubber cup. Get rid of all the sharp line angles. This way when the tooth is scanned it, it really turns out great. Alright, just about ready. Now I'm going to double check her margins. Yeah. So we're right at this the sulcus. That's where we want to that's where we want to be. Okay. Shade guide. You want the regular shade guide for each? Yeah, whatever we used last time. That'd be great. There we go. We're going to use the ND Who did we use last time? ND4 and D3. We'll pull three and four out and see where we are today. Uh, looks like four. This one's darker. Okay, you can take a picture of that. Oh, we'll do that after. That's right, I'm not hooked up yet on that. Okay, we'll do that after. Okay, next cord. Can I get some cavity cleanser, please? Okay, we're going to go right to the next cord. Looking good. great. I like the prep. I like what I see. I don't see any undercuts anywhere I need to squawk about. I know what you're saying. We're past the 50 minutes on the prep time, but we're, uh, we're video recording today. There we go. Now this is a, uh, I guess, another, you know, good. That was locking. Cord that goes in, and uh, basically this has been rinsed thoroughly. We don't want anything impregnated inside of this material. She is, I got an allergic reaction to uh, hemodent and uh, so you see that, that facial can't even hardly pack it. There's hardly any sulcus there. That's why I ended the margin right at, literally at the crest. There's nothing to pack in there. Gold instrument, please. Nothing in there in the pack.
can see how not so easy it is to pack that mesial buckle. So we'll let this sit for five minutes. We usually set timers. We're a big timer kind of a practice. We like to set timers for everything. Timer for anesthetic, timer for cord packing, timer for things that go in the mouth. I got timers for timers. Time management, that's the key. Staying productive, time management, getting things done in an orderly way, orderly fashion. And we can stay productive um, and efficient and precise. Microsuction. So if you have uh, an extra assistant who works with you, and you got other people in your office that, you know, this is a good place to learn too. You know, rotate people from your front desk. You can make them be your second assistant. That's if you have coverage at the front. Alrighty, final steps here. We're going to give this five minutes. You don't need to wait for this. Uh, I'm going to take the impression next, so we'll invite you back to watch that on this uh, new uh, new video for 2013. Just our bread and butter. Again, we had an old amalgam removed, cleaned up, took the die cal out underneath. Tooth was preoperatively sensitive. Hopefully, should be very comfortable with this uh, with this tooth. Now, this is our little chimney. We just cut these out. I want that cut a little smaller, and we'll just put that right in place with a cotton plier. Alright. So we'll bring you back in for the impression, show you how I do that. And uh, go ahead and close down for me. That's it. Just have her closing on that, compressing. Keeps the space in there too. And uh, we may change the triangle in there next as well. You okay? Okay. We'll see you next time. Thanks for.